Hey guys, and welcome back to Real Brexit. Brexit England, Northern Ireland and Eastern Europe. And in Brexit England, yesterday was seven years since the date of Brexit. So yesterday was our Independence Day. Our Independence Day from the EU. The organisation that was holding us back all these years. No, on a serious note. No, seven years since we voted for the um, for Brexit. And I was watching Question Time the other night, and on Question Time, they was in Clacton. And, you know, Clacton, it, it never fails, never, ever fails to entertain. We had the mad roof lady who believes that British workers should not have any safety gear when they're working on roofs. Well, this is roofers, she said. Roofers, they should not have any, no, no safety rails, no safety harness, because that is what all the Europeans do. They just break, they just break the rules. So we should break the rules and we should send out, you know, we, I wonder if what, also yeah, if she thinks like, you know those people who clean the windows on the, on the, on the office, on them high ass offices, right? I wonder if she believes, yeah, that we should, um, that they should go up there with no harness. They should just go up on, you know, on the on the on the on the lift because you know they've got the outdoor lift on the lift that takes them up. They just, they just go up on that lift, right, without no harness. I will tell you something, right? If you looked at the level of people in that in that crowd, you just look and feel, oh, because there was no. There was not no intelligence there at all. I mean, you've got one fellow who believes that um, he spotted migrants getting out of dinghies and going straight into the offices to go and so, to go and sign on. They, that's right, straight in. They just walked straight from the in Dover. They started, because they, they probably knocked on his door and said, "Excuse me, mate, can you tell me where the local Dole office is? Because we need to go and sign on, old chap." They probably spoke like that because you know they was probably putting it on. So. You know, so you got, you know, so it was just like, it was absolutely crazy. But, you know, Brexit itself is kind of crazy. And, you know, I'm going to mix this with the, um, with the whole, um, you know, mortgages and, you know, cost of living. Because, you know, so much people keep on telling us, oh, well, you know, there's a lot of these things, you know, there, you know, there's other factors. You know, not, it's nothing to do with Brexit. There's other factors. The pandemic. Right? The war, the you know, the war in Ukraine. You know, these are, these are other factors, worldwide factors affecting everybody. So why are we getting it the worse? That's what that's what people need to say to them. Why are we getting it the worse? Yeah, all of those factors is true. The, all of those things is true. Everybody right is suffering with all of those things. All of that right, but it's hitting us harder than anybody else in the world. And why is that? Because of Brexit. Right? So when they say, oh, no, it's got nothing to do with Brexit, all of these things lead back to Brexit. Everything does. Right? You know, if you look at like the high cost of living, is simply because we are no longer attached to the EU. So our food prices are much higher. Same with, same with um, um, petrol and diesel, the same with utilities. All of it leads back to Brexit. We're no longer attached there. So therefore, it's made our cost of living higher because all the businesses, cost of living is higher. Every single business in this country, they're paying, high, they're paying a higher cost for their goods. It doesn't matter if, if it's potatoes, oil, you know, butter. It doesn't really matter what it is. They're paying more money for it. So where do you expect them to pass that on? I'm going to wait for your answer. I'm not going to wait for long, though. Yes, that's right. To us, where else can they pass it on? You know, in the same way, you know, the, in the same way the government, they've sold off everything. So where did they get their money from? I'm going to wait for your answer. I'm not going to wait long, though. From us. 
That's correct. They get all their money from us. Because you know what? None of them haven't got any skills to say, you know what? Let us invest in, you know, in the German in the German train lines or the Spanish train lines. Let us invest over there right? so we can take some money out of those countries. Oh, no. Everybody else comes over here and takes money out of this country because, you know, they've turned us into one massive consumer market. Our government doesn't own anything. I mean, what does our government own? Nothing. And, and what does the government own? We're supposed to own. You know, they sold whatever it is, right? whatever they could set to sell off, they've sold it off. Right? And now, seven years after we voted to leave, after we were told, you know, food would be cheaper. Is food cheaper? No, food is going up you know, at a rate of 18%. That's the, you know, that's the food inflation, 18%. So food, not, is clothing cheaper? You know, because someone like Jacob Reese Mock speaks with such a, you know, such a beautiful accent, people take that, this idiot serious. People take these, all these people, people, people actually take them serious. Right? And look, nobody could run an economy this bad, right, without being a complete, I mean, I mean, you know, it's either on purpose, right, or it's complete incompetence. I mean, just look at our housing market. What you know, what's going on with our housing market? You know, with the with the mortgages, they have deliberately done this to people, because they deliberately kept the you know the interest rates so low for so long, to making people think, you know, what I can take out a mortgage right for um, you know a, a massive mortgage for a house that you know for a house that's four hundred grand, I can take out a massive mortgage on it, and. I'll be all right because the interest rates are so low. And, you know, the bank, do, you know, the, you're, you're always asked, you know, I mean, you're always told, well, you know, do you, you know, interest rates can go up. And people are like, yeah, of course it can. Thinking, no, it's never going to happen. Think it's not going to happen. Right? Until right, they decided, oh, no, we're going to do that to them. Don't think yeah, that, you know, don't, you know, I'm sure I've said this already, don't think that Liz Trust pro, um, Premiership was a, was a disaster because it wasn't a disaster for the people in the city. But, you know, those are the people who own the mortgage companies and the banks. Right? So it's not a disaster for them. Right? That, you know, because look, look what's happening to their bank accounts every single week. Right? Because now you've got people paying like, you know, you know, anything from like 400 to probably 2000 pounds extra on their mortgage. And, you know, it's only going to get worse as well, because, you know, yesterday the, the, the Bank of England put the interest rates up to what? They're up to 5 percent now. So, you know, you know, it's four point, well, four, just, you know, just over four percent, right, is when people start handing their keys back. So that's already that, that's already started happening. You know, now they're talking about, oh, well, what we're going to do is um, we're going to, you know, we're going to ask the banks if they could give you like, a, um, you know, so you can just go like interest only or, you know, or, you know, they're not going to allow the, the banks to take your house for a year. But, you know, already, yeah, once you're in arrears and that, Right, that year goes past like that. <laughs> they, you know, don't they don't take no time, right? So you know, so they're trying to step up with all these type of things, right? But it's talking about like you know, because I heard some people saying, well, you know, maybe the, the you know the the government should come to the aid of of people with mortgage. No, that would just be ridiculous because then you'd be looking at people who who are going to food banks, right? People who are living in council flats, people who are living in their car, right? paying right for people who have overstretched themselves well i know it's not their fault because you know everyone's been pushed into it because these people haven't built any council houses so people have been pushed into buying a house right you know so i know it's not their fault but still i mean if they really want if they, if they really want to help these people out what they need to do is say to the banks listen we're going to take a windfall tax off of you because right now the banks are creaming it in so the so the government could just say, but they're not going to, but they could just say, well, we're taking a windfall tax off you. We're going to give that money to these people who are paying their mortgages, okay? Because they could just say, what we're going to do, is we're taking ninety percent of those profits, because you know something, those profits are is unearned. You didn't earn it, so we're going to take ninety percent of it. That's what they could do, because you know you're talking about you're talking about hundreds of billions of pounds, right? So they could do that and help the people out with their mortgages, but they're not going to do that. What I believe they're going to do, they're probably just going to let the house prices just let the housing market crash and then see where they go from there but you know the problem is with that yeah is when they do that they're not going to bring in any controls because if they if they do that they need to bring in rent controls to make sure that people 
yeah don't take advantage of you know of people who you know who can't get like a, a mortgage you know and those same people will be paying off you know a house for some some person who can get the get access to the money so they're buying them the house might even be on universal credit and they're buying them the house and all that situation should have stopped a long time ago you know rent control should have been brought in what a 10 years ago they should have brought in rent controls and you know they wouldn't have seen the situation that they're in now but they're in this situation because as well as everything else whether it's gas water electric everything including the housing market yeah they've sold it all off to the private sector they're allowing private people to take up you know to take up you know housing for housing for you know for poor people for working class people for middle class people and you know for for poor people and working class and the less well off houses you know that that should be something that's controlled by the government you should not have right people who are possibly going to food banks or possibly you know working under minimum wage right buying houses for people who who can get the money so that situation should have been dealt with a long time ago with some with, with rent controls they could have done that but they haven't but they haven't chose to do that all they've chosen to do is just kick people in the bollocks day after day after day and welcome back to by any means necessary thank you so much for all your messages and special thanks to everybody who signed up to my channel i feel so blessed with so much people that signed up so thank you so much for that i'll go for all your messages i'll answer as many as i can but i will like all your messages definite and you know i've got so there's so much going on in the world it's just unbelievable even you know obviously that like yesterday seven seven years of brexit you know um a couple of days ago was 75 years of wind rush and you know, oh, well, let me just start with this, actually. A five-year-old has been shot to death in Kentucky by a seven-year-old after finding the gun in the house and then going, and obviously they're playing, you know, it's, you know, it's a, it, to them it's probably a toy. But, but um, playing, playing around and the, the seven-year-olds ended up shooting the five-year-olds, accidental shooting, killing. But, you know, if you this, I mean, I know what you're thinking right now. This could actually be the thing that gets America to say, you know what, we're banning guns. Guns are banned. They're done. Done. Finished. Over. It's over. There's no more guns in this country. What, when people just run up in a kindergarten and, and shoot up a load of kids? Come on, man. People go into, people go into houses of worship and murder the worshippers. I mean, I mean, that's not going to say, you know what, we need to ban guns. I'm quite sure that a seven-year-old shooting to death a five-year-old is just going to be like this is going to be like shrug of the shoulders because they say and a nothing donald trump is begging congress for help because donald trump has seen the 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 length of the indict the charges the indictment that has been cast on him by um, Jack Smith and he knows that Jack Smith is not playing no games with him at all and he's seen that and I'm telling you it is really really damning I mean there's just so much I mean so much you know um, so much yeah, information in there and it's all absolutely devastating for Donald Trump I mean Donald Trump went on um, what's the guy's name something bear one of the um one of the Fox News um presenters, does yeah one of the Fox News presenters, uh, and Donald Trump done an interview with him the other day, and he just admitted to like you know um he just basically admitted to everything. He just admitted to so many different crimes. I mean he, he admitted to withholding evidence from the grand jury. Right, so you know it's just so much. I mean. He, he, it's just absolutely devastating. And then, I mean, this guy, Jack Smith, yeah, has managed to get hold of the main fake elector as well. Because, you know, they had some they had some guys that was doing some the, the, some fake election numbers and all that. Right? And he's got right, emails from, back, from, from, from lawyers to lawyer, right, saying, look, um, we need to stop calling these people fake electors. Can't we call them alternative electors? I'm like, it, it, I'm like this can't be because because someone's reading it, the transcript, someone's reading it off the news, and I'm like, it, this can't be. That's that that, that, that really <laughs> just you know seriously. These people, 
you know, one thing, one thing, yeah, with the Republicans, yeah, and the, with the, you know, is these people think it's okay for them to commit criminal act. I mean, for them to basically commit treason. When you see these these emails, it's like, what the hell? Why would you even? I mean, <laughs> I don't know, but these people are in a lot of trouble. I mean, if if they if they're not um if they're not cooperating with him, then they'll be sitting right next to Donald Trump, yeah, in the in the um in the in the um accused box. They'll be sat right with him in there because seriously, these guys are off. They are off there, and you think these people went to you know because they probably went to Yale and you know and, and, the, and the Ivy League universities and all that shit. I mean, but these people just uh, you know they accuse other people of being corrupt and criminal, but they're just on they're not they're on another level. Mark Zuckerberg and Elon Musk are to have a cage fight. And I would just say to Elon Musk, yeah, well, you look like you've been having one too many pies. And Mark Zuckerberg, I'm sure he does, you know, um, jiu-jitsu in competition. So I don't know what Elon Musk, I don't know what Elon Musk is even thinking because Elon Musk doesn't look like, you know, he doesn't look like he's even seen a gym. And he, you know, he must have a gym in, in his house, on his you know, on his yacht. He must have gyms everywhere, in, you know, in all his properties, but he doesn't use them. He never makes use of it. Right? He's always there having a good pie, right? Or pasty. That's what he's up to, right? And he wants to go and fight with Mark Zuckerberg. He must think, you know what? Because I've got the weight advantage, right? I could take this guy. <sighs> he can get his ass cut. <laughs> Let me tell you that. Especially as, like, you know, um, Mark Zuckerberg does jujitsu, right? in competition and let me tell you right someone who's prepared to go into competition in a ring with somebody else right you don't want to get in you don't want to get into a fight with that person okay you never want to get into a fight with that person you know there's a lot of stories like that on 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 um, youtube you can see a lot of stories where you've got guys who think to themselves oh well you know it's a girl isn't it? an mma fighter and i said well girl isn't it? i could take her right who are, and they're untrained and then they go and they get their ass busted, right? They get battered right in the right in the ring, right? But you see, if it's a guy who's well, see, if it was a guy who was who was like a um, who was an amateur or whatever, even the and the girl's a professional, right? I mean, that amateur's not he's not going to go and challenge a, a professional girl anyway because he'll beat her anyway. Because you know I mean? he's trained, so that's the that's what the difference is, right? So Elon Musk, right, who's that man who's not trained? Who, well, the last time I looked at him, he looked like he was packing four pints. Oh, hold on. Oh, police officer, police officer. A police officer has been charged with... I don't know if he's been sent to prison, actually. I don't know if he's been charged or sent to prison because I didn't hear the rest of the story. I just, I just caught his name and I thought, oh, well, why is it these people think that they can go into the police service, yeah, and behave as if they're a white police officer? I always tell, I always tell black and, and Asian police officers, right, do yourself a favour. Right, do a Leroy Logan, not Ali Desai. This fool, right, has been caught with child porn. I'm sure he got sent to. I think he got sent to prison. But as soon as I heard his name, yeah, Alahan Ali. I'm like, are you stupid? <laughs> like, seriously, right? You give them nothing. You know what? You give them nothing to work with. <laughs> you give them nothing to work with at all. Do you know what I mean? It's like, why would you? You know. It amazes me, yeah, when you get uh, black and brown police officers who think that they can act corrupt because, you know, their colleagues, right, are always waiting to put them in the very cells, right, that they're putting other people in. Right? Black and brown police officers get more complaints, right, uh, than anybody else in the police service, than anybody else, right? They get complaints on a regular basis, especially if they're sergeants and inspectors. They get complaints on a regular basis. So what made this fool think, yeah, that, that he could have child porn? Child porn, there's no such thing. 
<laughs> There's no such thing. Well, well, he could have child images. He could have images of children or videos of children. Yeah? And, you know, and he's a police officer. He must have known they was always going to throw the book at him as hard as his... In fact, they'd probably throw his... Ali, they'd probably throw his Quran at him. How stupid are the people from the right wing? Furries. This is something that was made up by Democrats, right, in America, to, just to see if they could see if the, if, the, um, if the right wing would run with it and how stupid they could make them look. And now furries has come over to this country. Like, oh, are you sure? Yeah, furries have come over to this country. Apparently, in one of our schools, there's a child who, who is um, identifying as a cat, a feline. And by the way, the school, what they said that this was happening, has got into contact with the media and said, there is no child in our school identifying as a cat. But we do have a goat, a deer, and a T-Rex. At which point, I said, the first thing I want to do here is I would like to ask the T-Rex a question. What's with the pathetic arms? That's what I've always wanted to ask a T-Rex. What the hell is with... Anyways, no, on a serious note. If I went home and told my dad, right, that I'm going to identify as a cat. My dad, yeah, could, my dad could take off the belt, right, in one motion and give you a lash at the same time as he's taking the belt off, right? But you can't do that with kids nowadays. So me, I'd be like, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. So it'd be like, so you're, you're identifying as a cat, yeah? Okay, well, take, I'm going to put a collar around your neck, right? And, right, you're going to be eating in a bowl, Right, by the dustbins. Okay? That's where you'll be eating. I'll get a cage. I'll go on Amazon and I'll get a cage for you. Right? I, I'll get a cage big enough. So when we're going on holiday, oh, I need to take you to hospital. Oh, actually, because you're not going to hospital, you need to go to the vet. And I couldn't wait right, to see the vet take your temperature. Couldn't wait. I would just go as far as to go to the school and say to the school, make sure you treat this child like a cat. Because, you know, I think we've lost in this country. We've lost the object of ridicule. Anybody, right, taking this, this shit serious needs to be ridiculed. Right? Now, they, you know, they, you know they, there's been... I don't think there's been... I, I, well, there's been no cases anywhere, right, of anybody identifying as a cat. But the right-wing media have taken this story over, over a couple of days. You know, you've, got, you've got major radio stations and, you know, and, and, and things like, you know, GB News... And all these, all that type of nonsense, right? doing this as a story, as if there's something in it. You think to yourself, these people are so thick. They are stupidly, 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 stupidly. If you right, have taken furries serious, right, you have been kicked in the head by a horse. Fourteen thousand people was in, denied a vote in the last election, and this is down to the Tories' gerrymandering. And I can say that because Jacob Rees-Mogg admitted as much. Jacob Rees-Mogg said, "You know what? We 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 was trying to stop people from voting for Labour and you know and, and whatever other party. We're trying to stop them, so we gerrymandered." Which which the last time I remember, this is a fucking criminal offence. But what they've done is they changed the law. That's how they've got around it. By changing the laws, like, well, you know, the idea. Even though we've never had a problem, right? With, I mean, taking having to take photo ID in there, right? We didn't even have to take the card. All you have to do is go in there and give give your name, right, and your and your postcode, basically. And you know, so we didn't even have to take up. Right? But now they've got us taking photo ID, right? Because they're trying to make out like there's some. So, how much time do you think that one person can walk into the office and vote? I mean, okay, a blonde wig and glasses, a brunette wig and glasses, a skinhead, a baseball cap, a trilby, a kangol. Yeah, there's so much. I mean, I mean, are you going to have all those different disguises and, and, and different clothing? You know, you, you're going as a plumber. You know, you know, next thing, a, a bookkeeper. A hunter, a football player. I mean, we, is it are you going a, a doctor, a nurse? I mean, is, is, is this what you're going to do? 
the whole thing was just absolute nonsense. So, I mean, so 14,000 people missed out. They found the, um, the I wonder if in a few years, yeah, if people are actually going to be going down to see the wreckage of the um, submersible that went down to cause the Titanic. Because that's, I think it's a thousand, I think it's a thousand, um, well, it's not far from the Titanic. I can't remember exactly how far, but it's not far away from where the actual Titanic sat on the sat on the um, seabed. But, you know, the truth is they knew from Monday that it was, um, that these guys was all dead. They knew because, you know, um, the underwater sonar picked up an explosion on, sun on Sunday at, I believe, at something like 9.45. Right, which is an hour and forty five minutes into their journey, so that's when there was that's when the the explosion happened, but you know this thing here has been this thing has been in, in a, designed in conjunction with NASA, and I know that NASA used titanium right now titanium is like it's a material that doesn't really it expands right and then it obviously decreases right but they also used carbon fiber, right? Now, that also expands and decreases, but they they do it. They don't do it. They, they don't. It's not. They don't do it together. They they're two different materials, so it's done at a, it's, it's done at different stages for both of them. <laughs> do you know what I mean? So that you know, I don't think there's any submersible in the world that has got carbon fiber on it. I think this is the only one, and this one wasn't certified. So I think this is the only one that hasn't got, and it's and it's not certified, right? All the others are certified. This one is not. I think this is the only one that's got carbon fiber on it. So as well as uh, you know the design from you know with the help the design from NASA, they've upgraded it, and I'm quite sure that NASA would not have upgraded and put and put carbon fiber on it because NASA have not got carbon fiber. Yeah, on the outside of any space, of any space, of any space, that's all titanium outside on the outside, you know. So, you know, I don't even know how this guy has managed to even get away with that. But you know, it's been down several times. So, you know, these things. I mean, you obviously, you have to pressure test them on a regular basis. But, you know. And that 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 would pick up any anomalies if you if you pressure test it, and I mean it only takes like a hairline, that's the thing. And I just think that like mixing carbon, mixing like carbon fiber and titanium is like, I, I think that's a really dangerous combination because when they first said like carbon fiber, I thought, what you mean that stuff that's on my dashboard, yeah, right, or my spoiler, yeah, that carbon fiber. But, you know, this was like, this, I think this, you know, as I said before, this guy, you know, his, um, safe, you know, his um, take on safety, right, was, well, what you should do, right, is um, I've got a Porsche. If you just drive it as fast as you can down this hill, right, and then see what happens. We ain't got no brakes on it, but, you know, I'm sure you can stop it with a clutch. That's what this guy would have said to you. This guy would be like, well, you know, we could go, we're going mountain climbing and, um, sorry, I forgot the um, safety rope. So we could use this cotton. That's who this guy was. Right? So if anybody right, is going to mix carbon fibre and um, titanium, it would be this guy. And so, you know, this, this even though even though this this had been this this um submersible had been down a few times, right? You know, you know the stress takes a while. To, that's what that's the problem. The stress takes a while to kick in. So that's probably what's happened. I mean, these two materials should never ever be used in that way. Not like in that, not like that. Not in that way together. Um. And question time, yeah. There was massive talk about sovereignty. And I just thought, these people, they're just, they're, they're just, they're just, I don't know what they are. They're just Brexiters, right? And no matter what, you know, their heads are hardened. That's all. That's that's all you can say about them, because they're still banging on about sovereignty when the French have got twenty percent of our sovereignty. 
maybe 25% are French. And the EU, 30% of our sovereignty. You know, Britain has got a lot less sovereignty right, from since we left the EU. We had all our sovereignty when we was in the EU. Now, right, you know, we've got, you know, those two, you know, between those two entities, they've got more. In fact, you know, because obviously the, the, um, the French are in the EU. So, so we could say that the EU's got 55% of our sovereignty. Because the EU could just tell us what to do and, and, and no matter what, we have to do it. We've got no choice in the matter. You know, when it comes down to, you know, when it, when it comes down to, you know, fishing, you know, we've got no choice. You know, if they say, well, we want to fish in your waters, the ones that's full of sewage, but we still would like to have to go in there and have a good, have a good lurk about and see what's in there. Right? We couldn't say, to, we can't say to them, no, you're not coming in here. But they can show blood, they, and they will. They'll just say to us, no, you're not coming in, you, you can't. Like Norway just said, no, you no longer can come around here. Your, your, your ships can no longer come around here. So as a result, Norway's been selling us their fish from ever since, from ever since, I think it's 2019. Right? From ever since we actually signed that, Norway have been selling us our fish. And that's, you know, and that's the end of, that's the end of it. Right? And people still think that, Britain can just walk back into the EU. Britain would never just walk back into the EU. I don't think. I don't. I don't think yeah, that the EU would, because there'd be so much countries yeah, that it's not in their interest to have Britain back in. Because you know, people like the Dutch, these people have taken like, a lot of our financial services along with Italy, Spain, you know, all, all of, even up to America. You know, you've got people, you've got countries now yeah, who do not want to list on our stock market anymore. So they're going over to so they're going to different stock markets all over the world because they don't want to list in our stock market. Our stock market is is crashed. It's no good. You know, so people don't want to so so you've got so many people who who are just blatantly not investing in this country. And but yet for all still these people would tell us, you know something, yeah, well, you know, we haven't had a good Brexit yet. Someone needs to say to these people what is a good Brexit? What is the Brexit? Where does it go to? What does it do? What does this good Brexit do? Because this Brexit that we've got yeah, is a whole pack of shit. Anyway, my friends, this is obviously it's a weekend, so this is like Saturday. And uh, I was supposed to do a video yesterday on it, on, on the um, on the whole mortgage thing, so I just threw a little bit of it in there. But um, my friends, I've gone well over, and I wasn't supposed to go this far over, but it is weekend, you know, and I didn't do one yesterday, so... <laughs> anyway, my friends, this, my friends, is by any means necessary. I'm the MC John Ribs. It's really nice to speak to you guys. Comments below.